So, hello everybody, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, let's see how we can create our very first Stripe account. It's a really, really great application, uh, an alternative version of PayPal, I believed. So, if you don't have an account, I will leave you a link down below in the description so you can get started today and totally for free. So, what you want to do in order to continue is to, once you clicked in the link down below, you want to use the option that says Start Now like this and here's going to be appearing a few steps that you need to provide so in my case i want to use a temporary email because i already have an account i just want to focus into the process of how we can create our very first account later i'm going to be showing you what did i did in order to have completed the um the two-step verification and all that so i want to just provide this email i'm going to tap a full name let's say for example tom some A's, and here's my country, and here's a passcode that I'm going to be providing for future uh, sign in. So I'm going to hit into the actual, I'm going to just choose another um, passcode like that, hit into create account. Nice and easy, right? The very first step of creating an account that described has been now successfully done. So what I need to do, like almost any kind of website in places, I need to verify my email. So what I want to do is to go into my email section. I want to click into the mail that I received and click into this option that says verify email address. So once you click in that, you may close the other uh, tab that was uh, opened before. So I'm going to just select this option and delete this, or you can just close whatever you want to do. So here it says active payments. Uh, you need to actually finish up a process to receive money and to send money. But I'm going to skip this for now. If you don't want to do that or if you want to have your account like really, really fast. But if you choose the active payments, you want to provide where is your business location and what type of business is. So uh, once you finish this, I want to go into continue and here's going to be asking more about our business details. So I need to provide the legal name, the email address, the date of birth, the home address, the phone number. And in my case, since I am from Mexico City, there is a social security number called the RFS, RFS, uh, C, sorry. So I'm going to provide that code and hit into continue. After that, I need to provide more information about my business details, like the industry, the business website, and the product description. And lastly, I need to have some public details, like the statement descriptor, the short descriptor, and the customer support phone number. And then we can just add the bank account, the bank information about our clubby, our confirmed information here. And lastly, we need to secure our account if you want to have more security using your phone, using a security key, or using an authentication application. And lastly, you need to review all your information and hit into continue. In my case, I don't have this enabled because once again, this is just a trial account. So I'm going to go back into the home section. And what I want to do is to show you how can we get used into the dashboard of Stripe. So once we are here in Stripe, we can see now the Get Started section. As you can see, we do have the gross volume. This is the report overview of how many much money we just received and all that, our customers. So I'm going to go into the upper part. If I go into the payment section, it's going to be appearing to all the transactions that I've made so far. And I can filter that by dates and all that. So I'm going to go into the upper side and here in the balances. I can see the different payouts that I've made um, into the different uh, parts of the year. And here's going to be appearing how much money I do have on hold, just in case I need to resolve an issue with my bank account or whatever. Then we have the customer parts. This is the customer parts going to be helping us a lot to add the customers, uh, let's say, sensitive information like an email, the number of the card, and the credit date. So let's say, for example, that filter by email, I can add one customer and here I want to add name Jane example. And here's example, uh, example.com in the description. This is a recurrent buyer. And here into billing information, 
I need to actually choose the sensitive information of my actual customer and I can add that and here's going to be appearing my actual customer. We have of course guest section and here to the products these are the section where I can add some products and start to sell that into Stripe. I mean not directly from Stripe but yes you can implement like a name, the description and the image and you can add, us, add the price section and all that. So just get into save and add more or just to figure it out if you want to add some physical products. When do we have the billing section? Speaking about the billing, we can see our subscriptions, our quotes, our envoys. Uh, really, really useful information for all of you who wanted to check it out. Uh, the billing orders and all that. Here into reports, this is something we just saw into the very first part of the video. Speaking about the balances, speaking about the analytics and all that. So I want to focus a lot in that. And of course, lastly, we do have the connected version. So here into the connect version, what we can do is to connect more stuff for example i can collect payment to pay out i can enable other business business to accept payment directly and i can add money and pay out bundles or service products so let's say for example here that i do have the marketplace so here is and what i can do is to actually just separately send money to the users and to the service providers so this is going to be helping us a lot to, let's say, to automate some uh, recurring payments we're going to be doing during the month. And lastly, here into the more sections, we do have options that are implemented into PayPal, but as well as going to be automated here into Stripe. For example, the payment direct links that they do have available into PayPal, and now they do have now available into Stripe. So if I click into this option, I can create a payment link and here I can create a specific product of a payment. So let's say, for example, add new product. And here's the name of my product. Let's say, for example, a premium plan. The description. This is an example. And here in the price, you want to look for 23, one time, add the product. And boom, here it is added now in the preview section. So here are the option, collect customer address, the advanced options. And lastly, get into create your link. So with that being said, now the link is going to be added right away here. And speaking about the analytics and all that, it's going to be appearing into this part where it says payments and analytics. So I lastly just need to activate my account in order to see that, of course. But now we do have created successfully our payments. We do have subscription plans. We do have online invoices you can create into inside the Striped. We do have fraud and risk management, the custom reports, uh, we have the incorporation for more different stuffs and applications that we can use inside the Stripe. For example, if you go into the Stripe app marketplace, you can look for more integrations, like for example the QuickBooks swings, or the Billet, or the Postmarks, depending on what is the niche and what is the stuff you're selling. So with that being said, we've reached into the very end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's really, really easy to use Stripe. I think it has like a lot of implementations. We can take really, really advantage of this great tool for uh, receiving, sending money, products, and much more. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, guys, if you do want to see more great tools of the Stripe. Thank you once again for watching the video, and I'll see you on the next time.